Hello and uh, welcome to free.net tutorials. This is Emmanuel Mendu. In this video, uh, we will see how to create a table using our SQL Server database. Okay. What I'm saying, what I'm using is uh, it's a SQL Server Management Studio Express. In this, uh, when you open your SQL Server, it looks like this. You see a database uh, tag here security everything when you click on play or uh, databases plus here you see some system databases some default databases like temp db ms db model database master data database this model database it uses to create some templates uh, like thing masters it's it is used to create uh, or uh, it it works like as an administrator for our SQL Server and uh, coming to MSDB and TempDB if you create any uh, anything here like in TempDB when you close your manage, man, management studio express it automatically deletes your past history if you if you want to do any database using this TempDB it's very risky it won't uh, don't allow I mean to save your uh, tables here you know in the data in the database of temp db so what we will do is I, I already created um, a, a database named as mendu we can create a new database using that so in this video I will show you how to create a database and how to create a table in the database so that some of my friends they asked me to show me to show how to create uh, the database and the table and keep uh, how to keep the primary key to that data table okay let's go and create a new database here you just right click on the databases folder and you see a database name like uh, you can name it as student database and you click ok and uh, when you click ok you see a student database here appears here when you open your student database now you see a database diagrams tables views synonyms program programmability you see our store procedures in our programmability in the further videos i will show you how to create a store procedures how to work on it um, and when you open your tables you won't see any tables right now because we didn't created any tables when you see views you see so many views here on the system views these are like uh, default views so right now we are not uh, just leave uh, leave aside of the views thing so when you if you want to create a table here you just right click here and uh, you see a new table option here when you click on new table you see our editor for new it is asking column name data type and allow nulls and also you see a uh, a window here like properties you can name it as like student okay i named uh, my table as student here and uh, let's save it so you see a column column name here let's uh, Mm, the student got a student ID and the data type will be int and uh, see allow nulls is um, if it is a primary key you just right click on, a, on our student ID and you see a set primary key when you set primary key the allow nulls automatically it disappear when you try to select this gives you a warning like it's all it's a primary key you can't do that okay that's fine so let's uh, create like uh, a first name and we need uh, first name varcar and i'm naming it as varcar and giving 20 characters for it so i'm not i don't want to the student so he if he if I keep allow nulls, if you want enter also, but I need first name and last name. So let's take var car of 
20 characters not alone not nonce so I need uh, like GPA or gender gender is like uh, it's also wire car but it's just for one like if it is if he is male he can answer like M if he's female he can answer F and again GPA GPS integer or GPA will be float right float okay it, it it can be null because let let's see with null also because uh, if the student uh, he is this fresher he, he won't have any GPA right so let's let's keep on that so let's save it and uh, see when you when the student ID is primary key we to give like uh, to give a unique ID for the student ID student so let's go and uh, see the column properties here you see here uh, identity specification just click on this plus here and you just change it as s and you see uh, identity cd here like you just name it as like uh, 5000 and the identity increment is 1 okay whenever you uh, whenever you insert some column that automatically increment with one it starts with 5000 and it automatically increments so let's save this and to edit uh, our table just right click on see uh, we created a table and we gave the data types and column names here so now we need to give values for our table so just right click on your table and you see open table when you select open table you see a null option here you can't uh, give any values to a student id because it's it's a primary key and it's not it, it we kept identity properties there so let's give a manual and mendu gender is m gpa is 3.8 okay when i when i created when i kept when i click on tab you see 5000 default 5000 here okay like uh, when i when i write when, I'm, when i'm writing another name like sweta pacha female and uh, 4.0 when i click on tab you see 501 that's what happening you it, it can access like we can we can insert from the front end we can directly insert here you can do anything whatever we want there are, there will be so many options to to insert the values so uh, let's see how it works now if I want to if I want to use or select statement to retrieve the data so just write select star from student and you just execute it and save this out okay so here what is happening is it's it's in the master server so let's open the student um, database let's go and uh, write select star from student and execute now now you see the values here that's what uh, I'm planning I plan to show in this video so I think everyone got this so you please work on this videos and you try to keep the primary key in foreign key so 
you will get some idea and some doubts you can ask me you can comment my videos give me some feedback so that i can add so many videos and thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye